What made you start YouTube? Do you have a boyfriend? Who you look or think cute at school? Who's your favorite ex? First time getting high. How many people do you talk to? Have you ever gotten hit? Initial of the last person you kissed. Um, ever cheated? Is what's your sexuality? I'm virgin. When did you know you wanted to become a model? Take eight. Hey YouTube, it's your girl from Like Quest. I'm for Like Me. In today's video, we'll be doing a Q&A video. I never did one of these on my channel before, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on all my socials. They'll be on the screen and in the description box down below. And let's get into this video. The first question is, what made you start YouTube? What made me start YouTube was, I just wanted to do it for fun. One day, I just had a thought like, I'm gonna do YouTube. And I bought my camera and then I bought my iPad shortly later after I bought my camera and I just got it going. I started YouTube about, I don't remember how long ago, but I started YouTube in June of 2022. So, you know, and we're still going. It's 2023, January. So, yeah. And we're going to be way more consistent this year than we was than last. So, don't even worry about it. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. We coming. We coming strong. Okay. Next question is, how is senior year going? I'm not a senior, but junior year is going fine. Um, I am a transfer at my new school, so I really feel like I'm still transitioning just maybe a little bit. But now that I see, since the last semester just ended, now I see how their grading works and stuff like that. So I'ma just get into it. This, this semester, I'm going to get into it. Like, no matter what, I want to walk across the stage with the honors court. Like, yeah, that was that was always been my goal since I was younger. Like, it's been a dream. So, even if I don't get to because I don't have all A's and B's, that's okay. Because I'm going to continue to think, like, that's my goal. That's my goal. I want to get the honors court. I want to get the honors court. So, get into it, babe. Next question is, what's your favorite food? I just love fries. Fries is my favorite food. What's your favorite part about YouTube? Honestly, my favorite part about YouTube is that it's fun. I do it. It's fun to record my life. It's just, I love it. Are you going to travel? I definitely am going to travel. So, this 2023, I'm going to LA for my modeling show. March 11th and March 12th, they are having a festival. So, I will be in that fashion show festival. And... I'm super duper excited for that, but I definitely will travel more. I'm going to travel this Christmas. Um, last year, I went to Mexico and I went to Atlanta. And then before 2021, I went to Universal. So, yes, I'm definitely going to continue to travel. I want to go every place on the map, babe. Period. How old are you? I'm 17 next month. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I do not. The next question is, are you single? I basically just answered that. Yes, I'm single. First kiss experience. I don't remember my first one, but my second one was in seventh grade. Um, what was the experience? I don't even remember. <laughs> Who you look or think cute at school? Everybody. Who's your favorite ex? I don't have a favorite ex. They all cool, but I don't have a favorite. Like, <laughs> it don't give that. It don't give that. How tall are you? I'm five four and a half. Um, first time getting high. My first time. I don't smoke at all. Like at all. I never got high off smoking. My first time getting high was when I was probably in like ninth grade. Eddie or whatever, you know Eddie's. Okay. Um, what's your goals before the end of the year? My goals for the, before the end of the year will be have they will have to be everything on my vision board before 2023. And my goal is to reach 10k on Instagram, reach like 10k on YouTube, reach like 1 million views on Instagram for reals, staying 
consistent on YouTube. My biggest goal would probably have to be to be in 13 fashion shows. I'm most likely going to reach that goal no matter what. In the last four months, I've been in four fashion shows. I just had my last fashion show yesterday. So, next question. What's your biggest regret? Now, I don't live in regret. I'm okay. I don't have no regrets. Um, how many people do you talk to? <laughs> Zero. I don't talk to anybody, okay? So, have you ever gotten hit? I mean, we all at that age. Um, who's the most dominant parent? My mom. My mom, she's really like the boss of everything. Like, I'm not going to say she want to be the boss, but in my opinion, she wants to be the boss. But when I say that to her, she acts like she doesn't want to be the boss. But my mom definitely is the dominant parent. My father, he's like immature, childish, fun. And even though my mom is the same way, my dad is like a sibling. My mom's like an adult. Like, initial of the last person you kissed. <laughs> I know you're going to watch this video. So, so it's a body count. Um, What's in your mind? Eyes only. Some spice in there. It's like a little bit of spice in there. Like I ain't gonna cap, but um, what's your turn ons? My turn ons. But I'm a naturally turned off person. But like I would say, I really don't know. I'm. Well, what's my turn offs? My turn offs is class clowns, <coughs> loud people. Any nigga that do the most, no. Guys that smoke turn me off the question is what's a red flag you cocky that's a red flag to me because i feel like cocky guys they cheat in my opinion that's what i feel like i mean you can have confidence confidence is key but cocky is like like i can get any girl i want and they be the ones that be cheating because they feel like they look so good like they can get anybody da, 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 da. and then they just be doing people both if you're friends with your ex that's a red flag talk about your exes to me or something that's a red flag so what's what's your love language um my love language is intellectual y'all probably ain't never heard of that one okay i'm gonna tell y'all what that is it's basically like when you like connecting through the mind the types of things that contribute is deep conversations mental stimulation opinion slash beliefs creativity and curiosity um introspection and i'm about to read off like a specific definition so it says that minds are intellectual emotional appreciation physical and financial zero so i'm gonna put it on the screen and i'm gonna read it so it says intellectual people with the intellectual love style like to connect with the mind they feel love when their partner values their intelligence, respects their opinions, and takes part in thoughtful discussion of important issues. While the intellectual love style includes a desire to spend quality time together, it focuses more specifically on a meeting of minds and valuing each other's intelligence. People with the intellectual as their dominant love style seek a partner who acts for their opinion because they care about what they have to say. This type is likely to enjoy deep conversations about things that matter to them and a partner who will happily debate ideas then it has like check marks you feel most love when your partner takes a deep interest in what you say and how you think respects and values your opinion wants to talk with you about things that matter is excited to share their thoughts and ideas with you everything on there is me I mean, places are known to be very deep but yeah, that's that's my love <laughs> What's your sexuality? Straight. Caribbean. <laughs> What's your sexuality? African American. <laughs> Yes, I've been in like seven. My last fight was April 2022 and I was downtown. That's why I don't go downtown. That's my second time being downtown ever. And I fought. Like what? Smoke or drink? Drink. Photoshop, Photoshop, Poby 10. Um, favorite friend. I don't have a favorite friend. Love all y'all. Would you go back to any of your exes? No, we don't double back over here, okay? 
it's like no i'm just playing but um no it's it don't give that um virgin c c c c c when did you know you wanted to become a model i don't even know what made me want to become a model like i don't know how it came about i don't even know how i was in my first fashion show like I guess I might just see the cats calling and when I'm get, I'm assuming because I don't really remember too much. Hey y'all, it's Editing Quaji here, and what really happened was I seen this cats calling on this girl phone from modeling class, and I went. But I don't really remember how I got into modeling class. My mama she sent me a link, and I just signed up, and then boom, I auditioned. It was picked. But before that, I also audition for another thing that i seen and i was picked but i didn't like fall through with that idea when once i got into it i enjoyed it so i continued but i knew i wanted to be a model my first show because i'm like i love this like what's your dream shoot i never had a photo shoot but i will be doing a photo shoot in march with vogue photographer um you know what my dream shoe would be like i want to do it with a snake or like a lion or a goat like something like somebody did me some idea of like what animal should i have that's like unique and like should i walk a fish or something or what <laughs> how many people have you kissed <clears throat> three um what's your best feature i would say my best feature is is my shape like i'm really really skinny like even though i might be this big like i still have like a little bit of hips um like it's just like the perfect size like i, I don't know i just i just like my shape have you ever been cheated on no what's your biggest red flag in men like i said before being overly cocky um sassy boys that party why are you going to a party? Like, I'm really into, like, chill, guys, low-key. What are you at a party for? Especially if you're getting liquor poured in your mouth. Like, why, why are people pouring liquor in your mouth? Like, you like you would, like, you like that? Ugh. That is so, ugh. Like, what? Um, what's your dream date night? I say my dream date night is, I'm really like a simple person. I feel like my dream date night would be like, just really enjoying and spending like quality time together. Like really like I'm not a hard person to please when it comes to like dating and dates and relationship wise. I don't know what my dream one would be. Next, rate your modeling experience. I rated a 10. I just love modeling. Like, modeling has been so great. I've been on a great journey so far. Like, the workshops been great that I've uh, attended. I went to modeling school. Question, what made you want to be a model? I'm going to say at the beginning of 2020, I I don't know. My mama, she, like, always said I had a model body. Like, when I walked around the house, she always said, you got, like, a model body. Like, the white girl model body, model body, model body. It's like, okay, like... And I think maybe she probably asked me, like, why I haven't I done modeling? But let me tell you what happened. My mama, she sent me a modeling thing one time. And it was, like, to sign up for this modeling school. I auditioned and then did the classes. And then during the classes, I met this girl in there. And she had a cast calling, like, on her phone or whatever. And it was, like, nearby. Was, I went to that. And then she didn't even show up, but I know I went and I got picked and it was for the runway battle and I enjoyed my experience. I had the good experience. So that's when I knew I wanted to be a model because modeling class was just, I feel like it wasn't really worth it like that. <laughs> no shade to the school that I went to, but I'll be doing a video on that. So what's the freakiest thing you didn't like in your whole life? anything i've done has even been like really really crazy but i'm gonna just say like i'm gonna just leave it at that like i'm just put that there that'll be the end of this video today make sure you guys like comment share subscribe follow me on all of my socials they'll be in the description box down below ciao ciao